What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And this one I want to break down some very big news that came out that's helping Tesla pump the way it is. But let me first say that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget about the Weeble link, the offer ends in just a couple of days. Deposit $500 and you're guaranteed at 20 free stocks. So why is Tesla pumping right now? Why is Tesla testing 199 and approaching 200? That's because we had a lot, a lot of bullish news that came out. So it's not just Tesla, but a lot of EVs are actually pumping right now. So if you look at like NEO, it's up quite a bit. Lee Auto is up. You know, we have stocks like BYD pushing very, very nicely. So what's going on? Basically, there's a lot of talk about how BYD is launching an EV supercar that could take on Ferrari for $233,000. I went over this yesterday, but this is not the this is helping Tesla to some extent because this is gaining some strength and good views for the EV sector as we're seeing more EVs coming out that could rival a very very well-known brand. <laughs> Excuse me. But on top of this, BYD also mentioned that it could be uh, doubling its stock buyback, and that's some very very good news because. With that potentially happening, this is showing more and more strength for different companies which are heavily involved in the EV sector. On top of this, we had stocks like Lee Auto announcing their earnings. They had very strong earnings. They're soaring very hard, which is helping the entire sector gain more confidence and such. So with Lee Auto getting good earnings, with the stock pumping, with BYD announcing a potential buyback, the EV sector as a whole is pumping. That's why NEO is currently up like almost... 6.5 percent right now it's a little bit over six percent and we have like tesla which is currently up and pushing to this 199 area so it's a big difference a big change we got a nice double bottom like setup and this could actually help tesla to a larger extent so watch this 200 resistance if tesla could get above 200 watch 202.5 and 205 plus to be bearish watch 198 to support if we lose this our next turn is going to be all the way down here at this 195 area below that we have 192. But overall, Tesla is showing some strength. It's actually outperforming SPY in the market. Finally, and we got some good news finally. So it's a great sign for Tesla. Let's hope this thing tries to push a little higher. I do want to warn you all, though, that SPY is in a very, very critical position, though. There is still this head and shoulders like setup that could kind of like act as an anchor to some extent for Tesla, but it's not really stopping Tesla so far. Tesla's still outperforming SPY. There is this head and shoulders on SPY, so we'll see if this plays out or not. We have to still lose 507, and it hasn't really given us confirmation yet, so we'll just be patient. So this could act as a liability to Tesla just for the time being, uh, but Tesla's outperforming it. Apple's holding 181.36. We'll see how well this could hold. Uh, there is a possible inverse head and shoulders on apple as well right about here so we'll see if this holds up or not let me actually show you the four hours so it's a little bit more easier to see uh but looking right here you see there's a possible inverse head and shoulders we'll see if apple tries to bounce here it has to bounce here to help the market if it loses support right here at this 181 area you know this could shift things so just be a little bit careful and then just for a few more tickers i just want to mention that the qqq showing a little bit of strength but overall uh, we'll have to see how well it can try to hold. We need to see this thing try to get back above 438. It might tag it uh, in the future, but just be a little bit careful. If we do lose this, there's going to be a risk of it coming down to about 434 and eventually 432. So we'll see if this thing can try to hold above its current support. If we lose it, look for a potential pullback. Can we still hold it above 438? We'll be watching for that very carefully. NVIDIA is currently below 800, but it's still shuffling at 792. If we lose this, we could be coming all the way down to about 785 and 780. So watch that very carefully. We'll see how well this does. It is kind of rejecting off 800 though. So just be very careful with NVIDIA. Uh, it's looking like it's contracting just a bit. So we'll see if we get back above 800, we could turn back to bullish. If we fail to do so, we could see a little pullback. So just be very careful. So as far as the market goes, SPY is shuffling at 508. A lot of tickers out there are shuffling. But Tesla and the EVs are showing some strength. Thanks to some nice news that came out. Thanks to the fact that the EVs are gaining a lot of exposure and because of other great things. I am sorry, guys, that in the morning I thought that Tesla may, may not look as strong because of Spy and the others. And on a normal day, and especially after what happened uh, for the last couple of days, you know, that was a real possibility. But because of all this good news, that is trumping technicals and Tesla starting to push. So let's hope that Tesla tries to go a lot higher. With that being said, thank you for listening, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. And peace out.